Hi, I'm Anne Mwawodo. Here's a Channel's TV news update for April the 30th, 2020. The total confirmed cases of COVID-19 have risen to 1,728, according to latest figures from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, with the announcement of 196 new cases last night. The death toll remains 51, while 307 persons have been discharged. A breakdown of the 196 cases shows that Lagos has 87, Kano has 24, Gombe 18, Kaduna has 17, FCT Abuja has 16, Katsina 10, Sokoto 8, Edo 7, Borono 6, while Yobe, Ebony and Adamawa states have one case each. Meanwhile, state governors as well as federal and state lawmakers have been advised to prioritize the provision of COVID-19 isolation and treatment centers as more cases are expected in the days ahead. That request comes from the daily briefing of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 in Abuja, where the Minister of Health says the recently increased case finding and testing capacity will lead to the detection of more cases. And staying on the pandemic, Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajide Sawolu has announced that businesses are to resume next week Monday and companies are to operate between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. with a staff capacity of 60 percent. He adds that whistleblowers are encouraged to report companies who flout the rules. In Sokoto, the state governor, Mr. Aminut Hambuel, has announced the death of three COVID-19 patients. He explained that all three victims had a history of underlying health issues such as diabetes, asthma and high blood pressure. On the international scene, South Africa's COVID-19 cases surged past the 5,000 mark on Thursday after it saw the largest single-day jump. According to the Health Ministry, a total of 354 new cases were confirmed, bringing the total to 5,350, and the number of deaths rose by 10 to 103. The country remains Africa's worst hit, followed by Egypt. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for the recap. I'm Anne Wawadu. Thank you for watching. Thank <music> you.